Greetings, I am an evil genius. It, no. That's not quite right. But it almost is. You see, a new challenger has appeared. This is Kill All Heroes. You know, I just couldn't leave being an evil genius quite for long. This is a Flash tower defense game that I like quite a bit, enough to actually play it. It's one of my first Flash games in a while. And uh, it's pretty great. The level progression is way, the way, the, the, uh, way that they make you change up your styles constantly is great. And hopefully you guys will like it. It's going to be a five-part series, and I'm doing this first part in post-commentary because I had to do some tests. So here we go. There are several stages of fun. These will be the tutorial stages first. I open my eyes. This place, it looks like a secret facility of some kind. It seems oddly familiar. Details of some elaborate plan are scattered about the room. I must have lost my memory somehow, and it looks like I was planning to take over the world. I must be some kind of super villain mastermind. Well, this is amazing. Suddenly, an alarm goes off. A breach in the facility. Ah, uh, yes. So I'm an amnesic supervillain. But who could be here? Oh dear. It looks like a hero has breached the facility. That hero looks heavily armed. What's this? Gun turret? Fires at heroes in a straight line in any direction, up, down, left, or right. Doesn't look like I have much of a choice. I should probably place some gun turrets around the map and see what happens. Man, I am a creepy looking dude. I can't even tell what I am exactly. Now these things you don't want to put in the corner. That was my first instinct. You want to put them in a straightaway because they shoot straight. And yeah, each time you place a gun, it gets more expensive. Like all the other guns after it will get expensive. And we're gonna get different types of guns. Like if you buy any gun, all other guns get more expensive. So you have to be careful what you build. That adds another strategic aspect of it. You don't want any waste, but here we go. You notice he's on the straightaway, getting shot many times. If I put it in the corner, he would not get shot nearly as many times. That number in the blue box above my head shows my remaining shields. Getting shot by a hero will deplete my shields. Once the shields are depleted, they will be regenerated, but I'll lose a star. If I lose all the stars, the game is over. Killing a hero will give me 250 cash and 25 shields, which is great. However, in tutorial stage, you'll notice that there's only one star. If you die in the tutorial stages, or you lose all of your shields, you just die. You don't get a second and third chance. So, don't die. It's not too easy as long as you listen to the tutorial, though. And if you, if you die at this stage, then I'm sorry. Maybe tower defense games aren't for you. Awesome. Victory. God, doing post-commentary is so weird. I don't know what I'm going to do. Looks like there's something else available in this part of the facility. Drones? There's a drawing here of a bunch of drones flying towards the nearest enemy and pelting them with lasers. Heroes will always shoot the drone first, if possible, before attacking the mastermind. That's me. I know. I can use these drones to absorb the hero's shot, then finish them off with the turrets. I'm such a genius! Yep, these are, as well as an attacking thing, are mainly a defensive measure. Bam. So every minute or so, well, less than a minute by a lot, every few seconds when a drone is destroyed, they'll be regenerated. You'll see. Drones are amazing, I must say. I always have drones on the map. I generally try for two. Two is usually enough. Get them! Ooh! It looks like I got a nice cash bonus when drones are killed. Cool. I believe it's only five dollars, but if you have two drones and I don't know how I don't know how long the charge is, but you see it's like charging up. There's a percentage that's going up. Yeah. There it... Interesting. That's at seven dollars, not five. Maybe it's seven dollars. Let's see. Actually, post-commentary, it's easy to absorb that thing. That time it was five. It looks like there's a random number, probably between five and um, seven, that you get back when a drone is killed. But one hero dead. And you, sir, just hanging on by a thread. You were victorious! Victory! Stage thrice. Those red circles look like health stations. When a hero walks over them, they regain some health which makes them harder to kill. And I have a new toy! Chargers! 
When enemy heroes walk past, it'll give me a little bit of money and charge up. At a full charge, it fires a bolt at every hero and gives me additional shields. By placing the charger in a strategic location, such as near bends in a path, I can gain more cash efficiently. And they've actually set up a nice little nook for me to put it in. Just like a good tutorial stage should. Doesn't tell you, but you know, it hints. You should probably put it here. I don't actually use actual chargers a lot, but later on we'll get upgrades. And I'll use the upgraded ones pr quite a lot. So we get my two standard attack droids and go! Yeah, you see the charger? There's a little percentage thing going up. And I'm getting money each time. I don't actually know how much the charger damages all the heroes I haven't really observed. And I don't know how many shields you get back either. Again, it's a lot harder to notice these things when you're trying to do an LP. Uh, I probably should have, like, looked at all of that before I did the LP, but it's too late now. <laughs> it's way too late now. Yeah. Yeah, it's not actually damaging them. It's just I get $2 each time they, uh, each time it goes off. That's at 75% right now. I've actually recorded all the other parts of this LP before this, so... Before my talking, anyway. So let's see here. Let's see how much it damage. Those drones are going to mess us up this here. That it doesn't damage them all that much. And I wasn't paying attention to how many shields we got, but it's a video. I'm sure you saw. If I did indeed get shields at all. Wham! No chance, fools. Victory. Stage the fourth. Oh, look! Gas traps! I can place them on the pass, and when heroes go over it, they'll move much, much slower. I can use these to create choke points and kill zones in the facility. Also, it looks like I can switch the position of the Mastermind for a small payment. Using the teleporter pad, I can avoid the heroes. Now, for this part, you're gonna want to use the teleporter pad, because I'm pretty sure they will kill you if you don't. At least that's what happened to me the first time I played. I was like, I don't need teleport, I'll be fine. And they killed me. Um, so yeah, drone. And we gotta show the gas trap light right past me. Alright, past me, let's do it up. Um, I'm not quite sure why past me put it there instead of in front of the turret, where they would actually be getting damaged, but maybe past me wanted them to be slow around the charger? It still would have been better to put it by the turret, though, because it still would have been slowed down with the charger. But yes. Teleport! 25 bucks. Which isn't too bad. It just delays your cash income for a few seconds. Now, gas traps, um, they can be useful at the beginning, but later on in the game, I consider them almost completely useless. Because they still contribute to ramp-up costs, and... Well, there'll be a change later on that they'll become useless, or, as far as I'm concerned, useless, but... That's not for several stages, so I'm not even going to worry about it right now. Also, you'll notice that your uh, evil genius, and I'm still going to call him that instead of the mastermind, can actually shoot the heroes, and he does significant armor-piercing damage. So, if someone's about to die, it might be good to stay there. Otherwise, you kind of want to hightail it out. But these guys just have, like, uh, like splinter cell pistols. They can't even do that much damage to me anyway. Right. Toretto. And yeah, they're gaining 10 health every single time they walk over those red points. Teleport. So each time they go around, they get 30 more health. Those health stations can really be rough later on. <laughs> but for right now, whatevers. Charge. There we go. You don't seem to get that many shields from the charger, but whatever. Sometimes every little shield can help. Well, ah, gotcha. Would have got them both if it wasn't for that damn health station, I think. Your time is numbered, buddy. If you were smart, you would just leave. But you don't really seem like the academic type. <laughs> I actually moved my genius there so I could shoot him while he came past. Victory. Final stage of the tutorial levels. And also the final stage of this episode, sorry. Looks like this is the last piece of technology here. Proximity mines. Like the gas trap, these are placed in the path and triggered when heroes get close. A proximity mine will explode when a hero touches it, stunning and damaging every hero nearby. It seems it takes some time to reset. 
It'll be very effective against heroes clustered together. <laughs> this is fun! I'm going to kill them all! That's what you get for coming here. Well, I was, um... Well, I can't remember what I was doing, because I apparently have amnesia, but hey. I'm sure we'll find out one day. We never find out one day. That's actually kind of disappointing. But I guess that's not what the game is about. The game is about murdering people who are trying to come to your home. <laughs> now, the cool thing about the bombs, and even though, like, the gas trap, they, as far as I'm concerned, become useless later, they can cluster heroes together. And it's very bad when a lot of higher-level heroes are not clustered, because then you can't teleport out of the way easier. When they're together, you can just avoid them all at once. But each time they hit the bomb, you'll notice they're getting closer and closer together. Bam. Now, if they get really close together, they'll actually both be damaged by the bomb. But they have to be pretty damn close for that to happen. In fact, that close might do it. But we'll see if they even live that long. It looks like they will. I think they both have enough health to make it to the uh, to the bomb. It'll be interesting to see if they both get damaged. Yeah, they both got damaged. One took six damage, one took eight. But I'm helping in the shootinating. Also, you notice I wasn't taking damage for a lot of that because there's a drone there and the heroes were shooting the drone instead of me. Good little drone. You shall make me proud. Now I got a gas trap there, too. So they'll be shot by the turrets for longer. But I don't think they're even going to make it that far. Yeah. Bam. But he made it that far. He got across that. Whoa, he's running. He's going really fast. <laughs> killed personally. So that is it for this episode. I'm actually going to show you a preview of the next level, however. I'm not normally going to do this, but for this time I will. So level six, preview of things to come. All of the heroes kept coming. It was getting annoying. I checked the dead bodies, and it seems they all worked for global security specialists in taking out supervillains. Ironically, despite the high-tech facility, it seems I'm not actually trying to take over the world or anything. Ah, whatever. The heroes seem to be getting better equipped every single wave. It's time to get some help. I spent some of my fabulous wealth on an online advertisement for supervillain assistance. And yes, a reply. A retired kindergarten teacher. This should be interesting. Hello. I'm going to be your new assistant. You can call me Liz. Er, uh, yes, very good, Liz. I'm going to need your help. These heroes won't stop attacking my facility. Ah, yes, I was digging around your security system and discovered the facility has an extensive research program. It should come in handy. Okay, whatever, so I can research new stuff? Yes, but I've got some bad news, though. Some of the heroes are now armored. Armored heroes take reduced damage from lasers. The thicker the armor, the more damage is reduced. Some of the tech we can unlock will be very useful for dealing with armored heroes, like the blaster turrets and the Hulk drones. Now, the Hulk drones are amazing. I love the Hulk drones. They'll be, like, the mainstay of my defensive force. But that's it for this time. Uh, next episode, we'll actually have research. The heroes will actually be a little bit more confident and have a chance of killing me. I'll have three stars. Stars will be used for research. I hope to see you guys there, and uh, tell me what you think of this LP. It's going to happen even if a lot of people hate it, because I've already recorded it all. But I, I, I want to know. I am an evil genius, out to Maraud once again, and I'll see you next time.